It just sounds insane, the cold. Uh, I appreciate it, John. Look, it is cold, and especially when the wind starts hitting you, one of the things I will show you is the Chicago River, but normally in this bustling area, you'll see people walking to the office. So far, we haven't seen anyone walking this direction. I think the big thing here is people are taking this cold punch very seriously. Nearly three quarters of the U.S. bracing for bitter cold. Like I'm going into a freezer. Digging out. As life-threatening low temperatures and ferocious winds grip the Midwest. It's hard to take a breath in. It's, it's affecting my lungs a little bit. In Wisconsin, a 55-year-old man found frozen in his garage after authorities say he apparently collapsed while shoveling snow. Slippery roads making travel a nightmare. This dash cam video capturing the treacherous driving conditions in Minnesota, where police say 193 crashes were reported on Tuesday. The wind chill at the Benton, Minnesota airport clocking in at 62 degrees below zero. It's really, really dangerous out right now. This 13-vehicle pileup in Michigan bringing the highway to a standstill for hours. Slow down and leave space between you and the vehicle in front of you and be prepared for whiteout conditions. In Illinois, giant patches of ice blanketing the Chicago River. Residents insisting they're ready for the deep freeze. I'm dressed in layers, so I have two pairs of pants on. But as long as I bundle up, have a hat, have a coat, I think I'll be fine. Dangerously cold air predicted to make temperatures here feel like 50 below. These conditions are and can be life-threatening. Even short periods of exposure to this type of weather can be dangerous. Winds also whipping in North Dakota where it's expected to be negative 20 degrees. Across the nation, airlines canceling thousands of flights because of the deep freeze. They're putting the de-icer on and the de-icer froze on the plane. And for Amtrak customers, all Chicago trains suspended. The flames on these tracks, intentional. Crews setting them on fire to keep commuter trains going. The weather is so cold, the United States Postal Service suspending deliveries in parts of 10 states. Now, schools are closed across this area. There are also more than 20 warming centers across the city that are open. you got to think about the homeless who are throughout this area who are also looking for shelter. We have actually stepped out on the bridge where the winds have been picking up for quite some time. It's almost like a wind tunnel. We made the mistake earlier of taking our gloves off, and you can feel that wind piercing through your skin. It doesn't take but a few minutes to get frostbite. Really, the word this day is to stay off the streets if you can. It is brutally cold. Allison. Oh, Ryan, thank you for being there and showing us that the dreaded mouth freeze. I mean, all of us yeah. can relate to it when we've been out covering conditions like Ryan is where you sound drunk. Frankly, he doesn't, but I have because you're slurring your within just a, few, a minute or so you get slurry because yeah, it's so cold. You can't move your mouth. You literally can't yeah. move your mouth. All right. So which of the areas will see the worst of this frigid weather? CNN meteorologist Jennifer Gray joins us now with the very purple forecast. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> Hi, guys. And yeah, it's incredible how widespread this is. We're seeing uh, wind chill values below 30, 40, 50 degrees below zero, all the way up through Fargo International Falls. And this spreads all the way uh, southeast to Cleveland, Indianapolis, 27 below zero, 21 below zero is what it temperature feels like right now. So as we go through the day today, uh, by the morning commute, 48 Below zero is what Chicago will feel like. Minneapolis will feel like 50 below zero. Cleveland, 23 below. As we go through the day, temperatures are not going to warm much at all. In fact, we'll still feel like 40 below in Chicago by 5 p.m. tonight. And then staying that way for 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, Chicago's still feeling like 42 below zero. But look, it spreads east. New York City feeling like 10 below zero by the time we get into tomorrow morning. In fact, Chicago's actual temperature will be colder tomorrow morning than this morning, but the winds will die down so it won't feel quite as cold as it is this morning. So uh, we are going to continue to see dangerously cold temperatures. In fact, the wind chill of 30 below zero, you can get frostbite in as little as 10 minutes. 